You will not believe what is happening to Amy Slayton from 1,000 Pound Sisters. Sisters. Seriously, it's like a reality show plot twist that even TLC couldn't write. Okay, let's dive in. So, Amy Slayton, the star we all know from the TV series Sisters, has just landed. Sisters just got caught up in a very hot, boiling water-like story. Amy and her new boyfriend Brian Lovren have been arrested on some pretty serious charges, including child endangerment. Yes, you heard that right. Amy and Brian were taken into custody after a chaotic day at a safari park in West Tennessee. And just imagine, it all started when someone was bitten by a camel. By the way, if you thought this year couldn't get any crazier, think again. Amy's legal problems are only getting worse, and we'll tell you all the details that have already come to light. So, here's what happened. Amy, now 36, and Brian were arrested after police found drugs in their car in Safari Park. It all started when local police officers responded to a call that a camel had bitten one of the visitors. Apparently, Amy and Brian were in the middle of the action, feeding the camels, when things went wrong. And then, when the police arrived, they smelled a suspicious odor coming from Amy and Brian's car. Oh. You can probably guess what happened next. They searched the car and found drugs. Yes, that's right. Amy and Brian were arrested on the spot and faced numerous charges, including illegal possession of Schedule 1 and Schedule 4 drugs, as well as, and this is the most important, two counts of child endangerment. Wow. They're currently in the Crockett County Jail, and what kind of drugs were found in their possession? Well, that's still a mystery. Of course, Fans are going crazy over this news. Social media is exploding with reactions ranging from disbelief to, let's face it, some pretty funny comments. One of the fans put it very well, what is this mayonnaise sandwich with banjo music? I mean, it's the same thing, isn't it? And another fan jokingly asked, Tammy, girl, come get your sister, which to be honest is probably what we're all thinking right now. What do you think? Was Amy just caught in a bad situation? Or is there more to the story? Let me know in the comments. Now let's talk about Amy's messy breakup with her ex, Michael Halterman. The divorce was only finalized last September, but it wasn't smooth sailing. Michael filed for divorce in March 2023, and they settled their relationship in court for a good six months. Along with the court document, there was even a memo asking both parties to abide by the agreements. Be good, you two. Amy had also filed a domestic violence lawsuit against Michael earlier in February, but it was withdrawn, so it was drama after drama. After all the chaos in the courtroom, they were granted joint custody of their two boys, Gage and Glenn. Now they are raising the children together, but it's worth wondering how this latest arrest might affect their relationship. Could it put Michael in a stronger position to win custody? Who knows? But wait, there's more. Before the ink was even dry on the divorce papers, Amy was already dating a new man. She was dating a guy named Tony from Battle Creek, Michigan, and they had been together for about three months when the divorce was finalized. But Amy kept everything a secret, probably not to add fuel to the gossip fire. Later, Amy moved on again, this time with a guy named Kevin, but fans were very skeptical about him. And now Brian has come along, and to be honest, we don't know much about him or how he's related to Amy. But here they are, both in jail for a strange incident involving camels, drugs, and some very bad decisions. Okay, guys, I really want to know what you think. Is Amy just unlucky in love? Or is she making some very questionable choices? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for updates on all your favorite reality TV stars. Until next time, stay fabulous. Bye.